not that long ago, I had a conversation with a woman um, that I made pretty upset. <laughs> I made her pretty upset because I um, told her that I like women who have natural hair, and natural bodies, and I don't like women who wear weaves or uh, have wigs. And she got really upset and offended about that. Now, my army was, I don't care if you have um, little hair or no hair. You can have a bald head. I'll find that a lot more attractive than a woman with a weave or a wig because a lot of the time that stuff just stinks. And, and nobody really wants to comment on that, but it does. I never like being around a woman or hugged up with a woman that has a, a wig weave because nine times out of ten, it, it just stinks. It's very rare unless it's freshly done and it smells good in that particular moment. No matter how many times they say they, they wash the stuff, there's still a lingering smell to it. And, and, and you know, uh, a smell for me is a big attraction for uh, any woman. Now, with that being said, in addition to, I, I like women who are more natural body. I'm glad I grew up in an era I did in the 90s where I got to see beautiful black women on TV that just looked amazing. Now, before I get into the examples of the black women that I see growing up, or I seen growing up, excuse me, uh, I want you to think about Sarah Bartman. Now, you can look up your, her story for yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. She was a woman that was brought over uh, from South Africa uh, because she had a very large buttocks, essentially. Uh, so much so that she was part of a freak show or a zoo, whatever you want to call it, where she was placed a uh, bit on display as people could admire her body. So much so that uh, a lot of the white men were overly obsessed with her body uh, to the point that after she died of uh, syphilis, because supposedly she was a uh, uh, an adult worker, a woman at night, uh, she uh, passed on a syphilis potentially. Uh, that's what some reporters saw that I read. Uh, that they dissected her body, they dissected her body and put it in the, in the display, and you could have seen that on modern times. In fact, it wasn't until almost 20 some odd years ago she actually got buried back in her homeland, I want to say. Now, I could be getting a little details wrong, but the majority of that story is correct, so go and look it up and read it for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the video that I'm going ahead and I have right now. Now, like I said before, I am so glad for women that I got to see that were just beautiful. And keep in mind, I was in the 90s. The 90s, they didn't have too much weaves wigs and bbl so you saw women for who they really were now occasionally you had women back in the day that had face implants or uh not face implants excuse me facial surgery and um, breast implants and that that was the standard you didn't see that too often with black women that was more of the white women in that area but it still existed right so i have a little list of the women that me growing up uh as a child i or teenager and uh, I saw these women on TV and I was like, man, these are just women that are just absolutely gorgeous. The first one is Lisa Turtle. Now, Saved by the Bell ran for a long time. They could start in the 80s and in the mid 90s. But um, Lisa Turtle, she had a great style and she was just um, gorgeous all around. The interesting thing about that, though, when it came to Lisa Turtle, I didn't know her and Zach were dating in real life. And that's so they had that one scene on Saved by the Bell. Go figure, right? Then you have the sisters Tia and Tamara from Sister Sister. Now, they started off from cute to looking just drop-dead gorgeous. And the crazy part about that, they still look great to this day. I know a lot of people like to um, come out a uh, uh, Tia Maori, but, you know, she still looks good no matter what you say about her. And, again, from what I can tell, no BBL in sight. Now, people can argue about her here because she's mixed, and, and that's fine. So, let's go on to Denise Huxtable. And again, nobody can argue that Denise Huxtable was not beautiful. So much so that Bill Cosby was upset when she wanted to leave the show. And knowing what we know about Bill Cosby now, I can kind of understand why he may have been upset losing that beauty from the show. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot he really I'm pretty sure he realized a lot of men tune in to the show just to see Denise Hustable. Okay, now this is uh pretty much a two part. Uh Hillary Banks. Hillary Banks. And the reason I say two part, I'll tell you in a minute, but Hillary Banks. Hillary Banks was just Chef's kiss. I remember whenever you saw her come on screen, you know, it was a nice little moment. Now, granted, I understand another light skinned woman, um, but still very beautiful, very stylish. Now, they did portray Hillary as being kind of Dixie. However, though, she paved her own way, and that's what I appreciated. And again, the, the example of black women I have listed so far, they have shown to be very smart and capable women that are very beautiful with. Um, who had natural features and I'm very determined. There are great role models for uh, women to want to be and for men to want to be with compared to what we have now. Now, 
you move in from Hillary and transition to Ashley Banks. Now, me and Ashley are more closer in age. Uh, so when growing up, when I saw Ashley and she had her glow up, I was like, my God. Now, Ashley Banks. <sighs> Ashley Banks, when I was younger, that, 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 that was the woman I wanted. She could sing. She could dance. She was just gorgeous. And she was a darker-skinned black woman, which made me feel more comfortable because I'm a dark-skinned black man. Hell. And, you know, back then, there was a lot of colorisms and stuff like that. Back then, it was more, uh, quote-unquote, team light-skinned, team uh, dark-skinned. So, it was cool seeing a beautiful dark-skinned woman back there. Now, then you move into uh, Nina from Cousin Skeeter. Now, Nina from Cousin Skeeter, uh, Megan Good, first person whose uh, name I said, uh, um, full name I said on this. And the main reason why is because... I made another video about Megan Good and uh, Megan Good and the other woman. I can't think of her name right now. It's popping in the 90s uh, from Clueless. But she was also, she, let's be real. Megan Good is still fine. Megan Good is just a gorgeous and amazing looking woman. Jonathan Major is a lucky man. I always put it like that. Now, you got Yvette Henderson for Smart Guy. Now, I understand why Mo was down out bad for Yvette. Uh, Yvette, excuse me. She was just smart. She was very determined. Uh, and she was just gorgeous. And she had a kind heart. And she was a great big sister. She she was just a great character all around. Now, we're going to move on and get into Laura Winslow. Now, granted, I didn't like Laura Winslow as a person per se on the show. But it, you can't deny him. Laura Winslow was just beautiful. Uh, she was very smart, very popular. And she was just a gorgeous woman. And a lot of men or boys at that time, they wanted Laura. And, th and let's, let's be real here. If you're going to have a woman with an attitude, let her look like Laura Winslow at least. Now, now we're going to get into the top two for me. Um, let's start with Gina. Gina from Martin. Now, Gina was a very smart, executive woman. Stylish, beautiful, quirky and she didn't take too much stuff you know she fooled around with martin shenanigans but she was a gorgeous woman and that was everybody's number one for the most part everybody was assessed over gina from the martin show back in the day right that wasn't me my number one was pam 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 you cannot tell me pam was fine i mean she was probably the finest woman on tv between pam and ashley banks you can't tell me nothing else they were just two amazingly gorgeous women. Now, I understand Pam or Tanisha Arnold. Um, I, she went on to have an amazing career. And she, she still looks great to this day. Even on Everybody's Hate Chris. It was the last um, big show that I could recall her being on. And, you know, you see her do interviews here and there talking about the past and stuff like that. But the woman has maintained herself amazingly. And that's just it. Let's just look at a quick rundown of how I feel that when I grew up, I got to see beautiful women. Beautiful women that got to have their natural bodies. They normally worked out a lot. And let's say they did go earn a knife. And that's fine. Let's say they did get some breast implants or facial surgery, which, again, I doubt because, you know, you, you didn't hear about that too much from black actresses. They didn't have BBLs. They didn't have weaves. They didn't have wigs. They just had their natural abilities that brought on there and their talent. And they were great examples. Every single woman I said on here was either smart or clever. You don't see that anymore. On today's TV or music or anything else, all the women have BBLs, fake lashes, fake wigs, and their ratchet is all, I don't know what. I mean, hey, Sexy Red is being pushed out to everybody right now for no reason and she looks like garbage and the reason i brought up the sarah bartman thing if you think about it for a second it seems like they are trying to i say they well i'm just going to say they are trying to bring that uh, character back into the majority of women because let's be real here as a black man i do not care for a woman with a bbl i do not care for a woman with fake long hair i don't care for none of that stuff give me your naturalness Black women, and as a whole, are naturally built beautifully. You don't need all the extra stuff. I appreciate and love my women for how they look. Light skin, dark skin, you know, skinny, big, curvy, you know, whatever. I just love our black women for the natural of who they are. 
I just wish that they would stop and have more love for themselves. And a lot of times they said that's what men like, and that's what men like to look at, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I brought up the uh, conversation I had with that woman. I was telling her, I was like, look, what man has really said that to you? And she was like, well, none of my brothers, but I just know that's what you like. But I was like, but if your brothers are telling you the same thing I am, that you're like a more natural woman. And then, you know, I'm telling you this, your brother telling you this, but the only people that you're comparing yourself are to other women, why are you listening to other women? That's the thing that doesn't make any sense to me. Now, you can sit here and argue all day long that um, women are in competition with each other. And then, unfortunately, y'all are in the wrong competition making y'all lose. That's why a lot of black men are hopping and jumping ship. They're going to overseas, the quote unquote passport bros, whatever passport bros, they hop over to the white women. They're, they're going to look for something that's more natural and genuine compared to the fakeness that a lot of our black women are presenting right now. And I hate to say it that way, but it's true. Anyways, you guys tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, have a great day. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye.